All right, welcome back to Portal 2. So, uh, <laughs> we were certainly playing a level here. I don't remember <laughs> what we were supposed to do. Mm, uh, there's a little, little thingy there. So, uh, almost. uh, wow, there laser. we go. In the we are of... we are in the home stretch for this game. So, what the frick do these each do? That moves it. Well, that opens that. So then, oh, so we gotta oh, get okay. on there somehow. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So that move stops it, the platform move it and that opens the door. There. Yep. Right? Or does that Yep, no, because then... Because then when I move it to yeah. the there... And then we can, we can just... Jump. Frick. Yeah, then we can jump on it. Right? Uh, well, I'm going to have to be quick about this, but yeah, I should be able to... Oh, no, I guess I don't have to be quick yeah. about this. And then you just, um... Take that. Wait, what makes what do these lasers do then? Oh frick, does this kill me? Freaking Yeah, yeah, just step on the other side. There oh, fancy, fancy footwork. Nice. Alright. Okay, so let's start out with stories because okay, did wait, say so he had now you you go over there and get the cube once Oh, it, I was yeah. wondering what that did. Okay. Story time. So on our school computers. Okay, a little more backstory than that. So we get these really crappy um, Acer laptops every year as our school provided computers because our school hates us. So flash forward to me being bored in study hall and I remember, hey, Dalton said something about emulators that you can get on school computers. So I looked into it and most of them you'd have to um, like download something onto the computer and since everything is blocked on our school computer sync to our IT guy, um, that is not a possibility on our school computers. So, me being the, the genius that I am, decided, hey, let's just see if there's any that I can uh, that I can sneak on in just like a browser. And luckily enough for me, MK Games GBA emulator somehow works like a charm. So I freaking decided, hmm. There's some Pokemon games on here. Let's play through. Let's let's do a nice playthrough of Emerald. So, <clears throat> with with my backpack in one hand, in my phone in the other hand, because I'm still on my phone in class, even though I'm not supposed to be. Well, what a I gamer! I decided to play through Pokemon Emerald and had a blast during it. Except there was one condition. There was no way for me to save the game. Because it was in the browser. So that means that if literally anything happened to the game at any point, like if the browser closed or if my computer decided to update, all of my progress would be lost. But that was a risk that I had to take. As a gamer, it's As my it's, responsibility. It Gaming comes with great power and great responsibility. <laughs> so anyway, okay. anyway, back to back to the story at hand. So, I'm there, and I get all the way, like, eight hours into the game. I'm like, this is pretty nifty. Hmm, let's do some more. Now, now, hold on to your hats, because this is where the story gets Don't interesting. Don't know what'll happen next, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I go home to play some off-camera, or off-school, off because I am bored and have nothing better to do with my life at that moment. And then it happens. My computer decides to update instead of just, you know, working. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, this is fine, because my friend had been playing through uh, Ruby and his had saved after it updated. So I should have been fine. Nope. I, uh, I open my game, and lo and behold, my eight hours of progress were lost. So I think to myself, why not just start a new game? And then I think to myself, no, why would I waste eight more hours only for it to happen again? And that is the extent of me playing through Emerald probably for a really long time. It was really sad. Um, I, I, you know, just kind of cried a lot on the inside. <laughs> uh, and that's, yeah. F to it was just, it was just awful. On. Like, I, I had a good team though. I had like a... Almost level, th uh, third evolution mud kip, um, like a nice Gyarados and stuff, but 
No, we didn't have a Gyarados because I had a water starter. But anyway, it was just it was just really um, infuriating. You should do GBA.ninja. I'll probably that one can do save. some on my personal computer at home. Okay, so what do you mean by they? you can't save it because it's in the browser? Like, do you... Like, uh, it's like a browser tab. Mm-hmm. It just runs the emulator in the tab. Yeah, shouldn't it have cookies? No, there are no cookies on it. Yeah, do, do GBA.ninja. That's what I used. I played through, like, Fire Emblem and a few other games on there, and it was really fun. Yeah, if, if I can get it to save, I might try Fire Emblem. Because, you know, I don't have anything better to do at school. Um, can you drop the bridge? Not sure. I thought it would go automatically. Okay. Um, but, yeah, that was... Uh, that was just... Oh, that, that was just bad. Wait, frick. Frick. Wait, how do I reverse the polarity on this? Mm. I just have work stories on here, and I don't remember what that Frickin is, so we're going to skip it. <clears throat> okay, oh! Have I told you about um, my Pokemon card story? A few times where the one dude ripped you off and like tried to fight you to get him back? Well, kind of. Kind of. So basically what happened was so this one kid, I had brought in my great big shiny Lugia GX card Speed. into school because I was an idiot in middle school. <laughs> and I thought to myself, this won't go wrong. How could something bad happen from this? <laughs> well, well, my gamer friends, as it turns out, I, I was friends, well, quote-unquote friends with a guy who... Had... Whoa! I forgot you could do that. Oh, neat. Well, who had compulsive steely steely syndrome. You need to carry a little bit. Yeah, and to get it on the ramp. So ramp he board. decided to snitchy snitchy my Pokemon Cardi, which was not very cool at all. And then when I confronted him about it, he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And everyone knew that it was him. But nothing came out. Oh, what? That's not good. <laughs> what? But nothing okay. came out of it until a few weeks ago. Let me pull up the chat. Let me pull up the chat. When he decided to text me <clears throat> a picture of my card. Bruh, do you remember this? Of course, lol. I knew you had it. Yeah, but I for real have no clue what happened to it. I said, that's crazy. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know why I took it. I was just severely immature. And I said, it's okay, Hanks. I'm pretty sure we all grew up a lot since middle school. Even though I'm sure that this guy still has the brain size of like a freaking, I don't know. What doesn't have a good brain size? A brain size of something that doesn't have a good brain size. Yes, there we go. Poetry. But anyway, that was just... Hmm. Oh, I have to... I'm a freaking idiot. I have to get the thing. Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. But that, that was really just the whole story. It just came full circle. I finally got closure. I, mean, I don't have least, the card, though. At least he is mature enough to apologize. That, yeah, that was nice. That was I good. mean, even if like he hasn't given it back, people do grow up. Which is a definite plus. Why? Oh my god. Do I, have to put the thing in there? I, I do. Apparently it doesn't Okay, so you gotta save put the... it in there and then you take it out. Yeah, I okay, so I was paying more attention to the story. I for whatever reason, I thought that um You too? It oh, you didn't need it. No, I thought that the gel that I had placed had saved when I died and it didn't, so Oh. Hmm. If only. But okay, so I have a similar story mm -hmm. about uh stealing other people's property. Oh great. <laughs> um so when I was a kid I went to the YMCA uh or like it was in the camp over the summer. It was kinda cool. It, there were a lot of people there that I met. Um there is one kid who was freaking annoying named Keith. Keith was a fat guy, I'm pretty <laughs> sure had autism and but, like, he's not, like, the Spencer type of autistic where he's, like, a reasonable and fun person to talk to. He's, like, the... He got angry at everything, and he told the teacher, the counselor, that I was bullying him. Oh, so Simon. Because, apparently, I accidentally, like, bumped his chair. So <laughs> he said that I was bullying him, and I was, like, I should get kicked out of summer camp. And they obviously didn't believe him, but it was still funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... He bullied me. Yeah, right? I, and they're like, Dalton, what did you do? I was like, I, I tripped over his chair, I don't know. And they're like, oh, okay, Keith, stop being dramatic. Keith, stop being a megalodon. Stop being a megalovania. <laughs> but <laughs> it was it was still kind of funny. Um, 
So, Keith, for whatever reason, there is, like, a black market for Lego trading at the YMCA. Like, we are all into Legos. <laughs> the Star Wars figures and everything else were just, yeah, top-of-the-line materials right there. So, mm -hmm. um, Keith was, like, I, we took some field trip, and I bought, like, this really crappy, like, 99-cent souvenir gem. Mm -hmm. and, oh, did you um, put the gel in there? Uh, that's what I'm looking at. So I think you do. Just remember your portals, and then you should. Be... Mm -hmm. Well, this this kills him. Oh, why did you do that? To show you that it killed them. Oh. Well, okay. Um. So I was like, hmm. I could be a mature person and uh, trade Keith uh, this one gem. I think it was like five dollars actually, for the like six Lego figures that he's asking me. Or I could say on the last day that I'm there, I'll give them to you tomorrow, <laughs> and take them and leave. Wow. And I was like, all right, Keith. Yeah, I um, uh, I don't have the gem today. Sorry, I forgot it. But uh, if you give it to me today, I'll give it to you tomorrow. And that's when Keith learned a very important lesson in business is... Never trust Dalton Heron. No, is to um, never never pay people in advance. <laughs> wow. That's... <laughs> I don't like that story, Dalton. Huh. I don't like that story at all. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Dr. Seuss here for... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, another great story. So I was playing Spider-Man PS4 last night. And my mother and my brother were still up because mom didn't work the next day and Noah's just Noah. And they were doing a puzzle because, you know, they, they all like puzzles. Okay, for some all right. Um, not to do the, the extent of Spencer's family, I guess. Like, Spencer's like, come on, guys, I have to get home because we're doing a puzzle. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so they're, they're doing that puzzle and they're usually asleep. So I usually have a lot of time alone in the living room to play video games. Booty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But, nope, they're still up. So I'm like, okay. So I go over there, and I just start doing the puzzle for them. And I'm really good at puzzles. I just don't like doing puzzles. Because um, they take up time. But that's not the point of the story. <laughs> the point of the story is, um, I was, you know, getting finicky because I wanted to finish the puzzle soon so they could, you know, let me be. And then Noah was just, Noah was messing with me because he knew I wanted to get it done. So he got like a piece and like was taking like one minute, <laughs> like a full 60 seconds to get it in. And there was just like the perfect spot for it. He was just like, I can't get it in. I was like, Noah, you freaking retard. And then did it for him. And then my mom was like, Aiden, don't be a dick. Come on. Be a sensible person here. And I was like, mom, what the heck? And then later she's like, so your brother told me that he was messing with you. So I'm sorry for calling you a dick. And I was like, it's, it's fine, Mom. But you're, you're not really living until your mother calls you a dick. <laughs> Just so you know. I've always appreciated the irony in mothers calling their kids son of a bitch because <laughs> oftentimes they say it with no hint of remorse <laughs> or understanding. <laughs> Wait, can you go there? Can I go there? There. Would that I, help? I, I can. I don't know what it would do. A lot of times you gotta get the thingy on the you gotta get that in there okay, so how do gel. i get out of here once i go down here death yeah no <laughs> i i need to like look into here without actually being uh <sighs> over here Rick, this is like one of the last chambers too mm. well this is quite an operation Right, because I'm pretty sure. Mm. So I can see this from over here. So I need the test. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might be overthinking this a little bit. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, all right. Wow. I don't know what the point of that room is, like why <laughs> they made that an entire thing, but... I think it was just a... What the frick? Wow. What the frick? Wow. What the frick? <laughs> all right, all right, I see a portal. Huh. Just allow me to stab myself in the corner. Well, that was fancy. Oh my god. All right, so what did you do for Christmas Eve service, Aiden? What do you mean? Did you well, go to Christmas Eve service? We don't go to Christmas Eve service because we're sinners. Heathens. Um. Heathens. <laughs> <laughs> so we go... Okay, so I was supposed to go to winter Christmas Eve service at our church. And... 
my mom was supposed to pick us up from there and no she was supposed to go with us there but she was like yeah i'm just gonna go with to our your stepdads um in dublin right and we we're like oh great and my dad was like well that's kind of crap i'm not dropping off at her house if she's not gonna be there so we just went up to our aunts where they were going and because we usually have like a big holiday party there uh, every year and we weren't going to be able to make it but hey because of this circumstance it all worked out so i did that um you know it was eventful I got to spend more time with my sister's boyfriend who's actually a good guy for her for once she's oh, wow. dating a total crackhead <laughs> um so yeah it was you know <laughs> pretty boring but <laughs> not eventful how was yours well <laughs> <laughs> so um, come to this. last uh last time we all i alternate between two churches uh during christmas eve service we usually go with my grandmother on my dad's side who goes to a church called first baptist and we go oh. obviously go to the circle of the Nas. um and so we every other year we go to first baptist with my grandmother now our family used to go to that church too which is partly why we go but um we were there the last time that we were there we found a guy who was um apparently exactly he looked freaking exactly like syndrome from the incredibles <laughs> like he looked like the the young syndrome is the incredible boy in the middle of service, as we were doing a candlelight service, my mother looks over to me and she's like, what's the villain's name from The Incredibles? And I'm like, Mom, what the heck are you talking about? And then I look where she's looking, which is over at that guy, and I swear to God, I about died in the middle of service. Um, so that about summarized the last time that I was there. So this time... Oh no, Settle This in. time... No, we, don't, we didn't see the guy again, which was disappointing. But oh. what we did... What happened... <laughs> there was there's a guy named jimmy at the church who oh. is not this i wouldn't even say not the smartest he's a little bit of a special needs type of guy but he's not even like that bad mm -hmm. um he decides you know what would be perfect to follow up a beautiful harp solo of um oh holy night mm -hmm. is playing silent night on the recorder <laughs> Wait, what? I know. Wait, 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 wait. During the service, as like, this part... Like, this was scripted. As part of the Christmas Eve service... Oh, my God. He played Silent Night on the recorder. Oh, my God. Now, I don't have an ear. <laughs> we were listening, and my mother, I swear to God, was going to die of laughter, and so was I. My dad was just trying not to look at us, so he wouldn't die of laughter. So, after the serve, the pastor was like... He had this look on his face. During most of the recorder solo, it's like a Dave Green. Yeah, it wasn't even played well. It was like do 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 do. do. <laughs> it was like a third grade recorder concert. So we were we were sitting there like, and we asked my grandma. She's like, "What the heck was that that we just listened to?" Oh, he's been practicing. <laughs> I swear to God, oh. I don't think I have ever laughed harder than... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no man. words. But, mmm, mmm, yeah, it was... It was probably one of the funniest <laughs> Christmas Eve services I have ever been to, if not the funniest, like, uh But, oh no, I know what I need to do, frick. Woo. All right, so we gotta lube these guys up. So we just oh, put yes. a thingy there, put a thingy there. Bada bing, bada bam. Does that work? Uh, where is this going to? Okay, we have to do it weirdly because oh, the yeah, button over the there portal. reverses polarity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have to get. Oh yeah, yeah, you go through it and then. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. So that'll go. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Interesting. All right. So uh, yeah, yeah, it cuts off, and then you gotta you change put the, the gel in yeah, there, yeah. and then so I the... also go into here. Woo! Oh, forgot the. Okay, and then you. <laughs> it's the blue understand portal. What's happening right now? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hey, get me out of here, please. Go frick, 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 frick! I can't get out. Why would you have to go out? Couldn't you just? Because I then I do this, and then I do this, and then I put. I wait for it to get in this little area. And then I put the blue portal over here so it kills the, the gel falls on the turrets and they bounce everywhere. 
Do reverse polarity? I do. I'm waiting. Okay. Now the gel will go through there. Oh. And then bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> and they just go everywhere and it's great. All right. Ouch, ouch. So, I I that is one of the very few uh, things that I actually remember how to do. Huh. And I don't remember how to get there. Hmm. Well, you gotta bounce on the thing. Yeah, okay. but that, I'm not gonna get it over there with that. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, that soupy thingy. Hmm? Yeah. Not that. No, no, no. You know the, the fooshier? The fooshier. Yes. The, the tunnel? The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put one on, yeah. And okay, then you can yeah. jump into that. Because you'll, like, have, to, you'll well, have to do something What is with this that. going to do? Well, I don't know, Margo. Give me you a don't second. don't know, Margo. <laughs> okay, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Like what? There's no white gel? No. Hmm. Oh, I can't go that direction. Uh, this might be an issue. Huh. Well. Because, like, reversing the polarities, I'm not even going to do anything either. Is this cause... episode? What do you want to finish? You could just cut it here. Nah. Because we're almost at the end of the game. Nah, we'll have to finish. One second, gents. But we'll just finish this level and call it. What if the... F okay, how far are we to the boss, though? Uh, the that's what I'm wondering. I think there are two more episodes left, so we'll just do those. In oh, okay. Uh, okay. Frick. Well, this is quite an operation. Huh. This is quite befuzzling. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, frick, there's a button. Yeah, frick. Well, we're clever. Eat. <laughs> Sorry, this button is cleverly hidden. Ha! Wow. Rad. Do we have to, is there a time limit? I don't know. Um. No, I guess it's just an activate and it's done. Oh, of course it wouldn't be that easy. They wouldn't just allow me to... Usually there's like a secret in there. Okay, so... I have to somehow fall in a way that allows me to land on portal area. this not like that like this it's no use all right and then watch the magic wrong one nope oh really oh huh good 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 job frick <laughs> you not spaz out for a few seconds <laughs> Me, the audio is one decibel too loud. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> when there's a slight black border on Spencer. the episodes. <laughs> when no Instagram. <laughs> <All> right, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching.